If you're looking to learn about new mods, shaders, texture packs, and all things related to Minecraft for making it better, start now by subscribing and clicking that bell. Hey guys, I'm D from DAB Works, where we make content on the best mods mixed with shaders and texture packs, letting our computers suffer so yours doesn't. Alright, today's mod of the day is Better Nether. Let's get straight into it. So this mod was designed to improve the nether, making it really better, giving it more biomes, plants, materials, and everything inside it. And six new mobs, which I'll show you a bit later. So let me try and explain this mod a bit more. So this mod is kind of expanding vanilla into a new level. You know, I've got 18 different biomes. I can't show you them all today because that will just take such a long time. But I'm going to go kind of through them and just, you know, show them what they've got. And um, so, yeah, let's get into a little bit what you need to know and what you can add extra into it so you can see... Um, the integrations of it so the mod menu can be added tech reborn vanilla hammers just maps adon extra places canvas render and vanilla excavators all right now just keep in mind this is a fabric mod i am running it on my fabric 1.16.5 and it does require fabric api just keep that in mind also um we're gonna go through the different well my favorite so we can go through the different biomes right now. So we have a wart forest, which is a dense forest with wart trees and some of the small bushes. The ground is made of nether, moss, and soul sand. The next one is also one of my favorites is the nether jungle. I like this one because it's beautiful with the colors and stuff. And I'll be showing them and, and titling when I show you it um, in this thing. So it, it's a very dense forest with some strange plants. Ground covered with nether grass and eggplants. Ground is made from nether moss, nether rack, and soul sand. The plants are eggplants nether grass, stalagmites, and loose's eyes. Right, and just remember that in this biome, as you can see, I'll be showing you that you can actually step into plants that can give you poisonous, so it's probably like poison ivy. They can give you poison for a couple of seconds, so that's also something to worry about, which it kind of makes it a bit more difficult in the nether if it wasn't more difficult already. Um, so the next one is the nether grass land. Grass, grassiest place with some bushes the ground cover with the grasses and bushes ground made from the nether moss nether rack and soul sand plants the eggplants again and the wart bushes we've also got the black bush and the ink bush we've got the gravel desert it's almost i, I feel it's the same as the badlands but it's looked pretty cool in the nether seeing this it gives it a little more of a boost and a little biome boost it's a big semi-empty space of gravel that fills with cactuses. And these cactuses look a little bit different. They've got different colors. And when you hit them, they've got the same sound effect. So that's what I thought. They're cactuses. Uh, so it's nether cactuses. Let's call them that. The ground is made from gravel plants or uh, nether cactus. Then we've got the mushroom forest covered with the nether and soul sand. It contains very large mushroom trees, giving the name mushroom forest. I'm hoping that they would. They have red and brown mushrooms. They, con they contain three different colored mushrooms as a source of dyes and let's just discuss this real quickly so the mod actually started for 1.12.2 and obviously you saw a lot of uh hype about it and then they started making 1.15.2 1.16.1 1.16.3 1.16.4 1.16.5 1 and the one that i'm using right now is 1.16.5 just remember it is a fabric mod just so you don't forget that the nether biomes data pack compatible with cinderscapes and other biomes you'll go which is quite cool to add it's give it that little extra bit you can also add extra particles mod which gives it those little extra particles which makes it even more lively if you really want that but right now it still looks beautiful as is what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna do a little fly through we're gonna just discuss what i've been seeing and um yeah let's get into it there they are there. I'm going to go through this. So it's a hydro jellyfish spawn egg. And what it looks like is the jellyfish that I was showing you now earlier. And this is what it exactly looks like. It's beautiful, I must say. This is a glowing jellyfish with tentacles and it looks dangerous. And um, I will give you a little tip. Don't, don't touch it. I know you want to touch it. Don't touch it. Because I'm going to show you what happens now if you touch it. All right. Touch once. Boom. You don't want that. This is me and creative. I got a fright. Imagine you in, yeah, in survival you'll die. So don't do that. The next one we've got there. So that is going to be a firefly. Now my shade is, does make it look a little bit weird, but it's that's what it is. This next one, we got. and so the next one is a nagger. It, uh, it's such a bad name. Oh God. The next one is a nugger, and um, this is a nugger right here. And they uh, they look kind of cute, but they're also kind of scary. It's kind of like a skeleton. I'm gonna put my lights here so you can see them better. Um, and basically, it's kind of like a scorpion skeleton kind of thing, and it looks pretty cool. 
This thing is getting so annoying. Jeez, just it always wants to be here. Always wants attention. Get out. All right, so this is what it looks like. It's got some spikes on his back. And I, I don't know. I'm in creative here, so I didn't really see if it does anything to you. But I, I'm suspecting it shoots fireballs or something to that sense. Because, yeah, it's... It looks creepy. Anyways, next one we gotta get on to is when pigs fly, this will be a mo whoa. Oh right, so pigs fly. This is a flying pig. Look at that. That is weird. Alright, let's spawn a whole bunch and see what's going on. Um look they look cute to be honest. I I don't know why this is put into the, the uh, you know what? It's fine. Let let it be. Let it be. Are they pooing? Oh my goodness. Well, alright, there's a mod of a pig that flies and poos. Yes, I know, I see the shaders are doing that thing. It's just because the, the shaders have a bit of a glitch. But, you know what, guys? I want it to look a little bit better than just normal things for you guys. Make it better content. This is going to be your jungle skeleton. And they're really cool. they got little hats on and um, they kind of just walk around. And obviously they will, they will shoot you. You know, like a normal skeleton as it is. These are the magma spawns. And um, they're also pretty cool. They fly around. They don't really do much. They kind of just drip lava. And we'll spawn a whole bunch just to show you what it looks like. The flying pig, I think, I don't know if it's my favorite. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably choose my favorite mod right there is a flying pig because it's... I don't know, it's just, uh, it's cute. <laughs> I think I could say. So yeah, let's have a little fly through and uh, check if we can see anything else. I don't think so. Um, we're going to go check out the jungle biome one more time. And we've still got that annoying noise right here. Uh, let's go see where we can go. So as you can see, it just gives that extra color, that extra light, extra... It's just really, really cool. Like I said, remember guys, that there is poison ivy. So, or, or poison. And if you step on it, it's going to give you poison. So if you're running through this, it's, it's going to make your nether a lot more challenging than it already was. And that's me flying in right into a wall. Great driving for me or flying for me. Um, so you just be careful with that, I would say. And this is the jungle biome, and it's beautiful. It honestly looks a lot like the avatar biome, and you can see that in, in the better end mod, where they kind of display that even more. If you get your your shaders on a really bloomy kind of thing, oh man, it looks beautiful. It looks like avatar. It looks like you are literally shooting the next avatar, which is beautiful. These vines can also be climbed, and um, the, as you can see, I just got hit by this poison ivy, and there it is, poison so I think it's poison ivy. And um, yeah, so just be careful for that. That's another thing that you want, might want to watch out for. And there's just so much more you can discover in this mod. So my suggestion is you guys go out there, try it out. Have a lot of armor or being creative. I think it's just so beautiful. And all the extra bits that they've added into this is just so insane. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, click on this video right here. I've got my cinema... I've got my cinematic video that is going to be coming out. You guys can also watch every time I do a mod. I'll do a cinematic video for you guys to watch. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This has been DAB, and this has been such a fun time on Mod of the Day. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you next time. Peace, guys.